How's Barry doing? He's the same. Barry's condition deteriorated. They moved him to Star Labs. They've been looking after him. That's how I met Cisco and Caitlin. Right. You were right. No more seizures. After everything that happened, you could have left too. I want to help. He likes this song. How could you possibly know that? I checked his Facebook page. I mean, he can hear everything, right? Auditory functions are the last sensory faculties to degenerate. Carry my, no, he carry my phone. <laughs> Oh, my God. Where am I? He's up. <sighs> Dr. Wells, get down to the cortex, like, right now. Over one Pulse 120. <sighs> Pupils equally reactive to light. Look hey, at me. Hey, Look at whoa, me. Whoa, relax. <sighs> Everything's okay, man. You're at Star Labs. Star Labs. Who are you? I'm Cisco Ramon. She's Caitlin, Dr. Snow. I need you to urinate in this. Not this second. Wait, what, what is happening? What is going on? You were struck by lightning, dude. Lightning gave me abs. Your muscles should be atrophied, but instead they're in a chronic and unexplained state of cellular regeneration. Your heartbeat was moving too fast for the EKG to register it. I need to go. No, you can't. No, 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 Caitlin's right. No, now that you're awake, we need to do more tests. You're still going through changes. There's so much that we don't know. I'm fine, really. I feel normal. Thank you for saving my life. Really? Dr. Wells will be monitoring your energy output and Caitlin, your vitals. What? Nothing. I just noticed you don't smile too much. My once promising career in bioengineering is over. My boss is in a wheelchair for life. The explosion that put you in a coma also killed my fiance. So this blank expression kind of feels like the way to go. He just passed 200 knots per hour. Not possible. like you had a distal radius fracture. Had? It's healed in three hours. How is that even possible? We don't know. Yet. Your body may not be able to handle those speeds. You'll die. I have to try! <laughs> the suit's holding up. But he's not. Barry. It's over. You talking to Barry? Who? Barry Allen. Struck by lightning, was in a coma for nine months, woke up being able to run faster than the speed of sound. Ring a bell? No. Haven't talked to him. Everybody's out. What else you got for me, Cisco? Barry, it's Caitlin. Hey, Caitlin. How's your day? Get back to Star Lab. Now. On my way. <sighs> Don't expect me to patch you up every time you break something. How could you not tell us you're experiencing dizzy spells? We're your doctors. God knows what's going on inside your body. Your cells are in a constant state of flux. You could be experiencing cardiopulmonary failure or a transient ischemic attack. Mini stroke. Probably not. You, of all people, should know that in science, we share. We do not keep secrets. Wow. I haven't seen anyone make her that angry since Ronnie. We're all set. A little padding, just in case. Yeah. You're sure about this, Cisco? Most home treadmills have a maximum speed of about 12 miles per hour. This one has been Cisco'd. Trust me, it can handle your speed. Okay. Heart rate 
blood pressure, nerve conduction, all normal. Or Barry. Brain wave function within standard limits. <laughs> I told you the treadmill could take it. Okay. Look at the glucose levels. Oh my god, of course. Right? It was so glucose obvious. Glucose levels. Barry, we think we know why you keep... Passing out. I passed out again? Total metabolic failure brought on by acute hypoglycemia. I'm not eating enough. So an IV back, and I'm good to go. <laughs> Try 40. Guess you were thirsty. We're gonna need to fashion you a new diet based on your metabolic changes. Abrasions are already rapidly healing. Yeah, I got my ass handed to me. You got blood on my suit. Barry, an armored car was just hijacked on Griffin Avenue. Get your ass over there. Actually, Dr. Wells, I could use Caitlin's help identifying the poison gas. Okay. If that's okay with you. Let's go. Who are you? Dr. Caitlin Snow, Barry's personal physician. All available units. We have a report of a toxic gas attack in the Central City shopping mall. Barry, don't. We don't know enough about what we're facing yet. It's not safe. Caitlin, I have to go. Can you hear me? His vitals are weak, but he's alive, Dr. Wells. I'm sure he's fine. I can't breathe. He needs oxygen. Get the crash cart! Barry! Barry! Come here, open. The poison's still in me. He brought us a sample. Caitlin, we need to do a pulmonary biopsy, extract an active portion of that gas. I can't give you any anesthetic. Your metabolism will burn right through it. I heal quick. Remember? <laughs> do it. Cisco, give me the syringe. This is gonna hurt a lot. It's a small needle. You probably won't even feel it. You're definitely going to feel it. The streak lives. You'd be dead if your lung cells didn't regenerate so quickly. Oh, my chest feels like that one time I had a cigarette. Yeah, teen me live for danger. This isn't funny. You could have... I didn't. I reverse engineered an antidote to the toxin. I hope you won't need it. He used the antidote on Joe. You need to stay away from him, Barry. Do not breathe him in. You can't fight him, Barry. Keep him coming at you. That should sap his strength. This isn't even remotely anatomically correct. That's not the point, Dr. Snow. Then what is the point? To have fun. For the record, I crushed it in Operation and Ping Pong. Oh. It's not as easy as it looks. How fast can he run? He hasn't reached his top speed yet, theoretically speaking. So is he really okay? His heart rate is within normal range for him. No, I mean, the lightning bolt changed him. Do any of you really know how much? We know a fair amount. If everything about him is sped up, is he going to age faster? What would happen if he ran too fast? I mean, would he just be running and then poof, he's, he's dust in a red costume? Everything we do here at Star Labs is to protect Barry Allen. Trust us, Felicity. He is in very good hands here. Want to see how fast I can run backwards? Don't worry. He heals quickly, too. You OK? It burns. It's still numb. It's presenting itself like third-degree frostbite. I thought he had hyperhealing. It's been slowed. If your cells weren't regenerating at the rate they are, your blood vessels would have frozen solid and the nerve damage would have been permanent. You're lucky to be alive. I can't feel anything. Yeah, 
That's usually what happens when you drink too much. No, the alcohol is not affecting me. I mean, I literally feel nothing. It's your hypermetabolism. I need a sample. I'll get more shots. I swear I had a vacuum cleaner in here. Wait, you carry a blood collection kit in your purse? You have your hobbies. Guys, hurry! Just run really fast and you'll be fine. But you need to maintain your velocity on the way down or... Or, or what? Splat. Get whatever you're wearing off of you. Hurry! Barry, can you hear me? Barry! There must be a perfectly reasonable explanation for why he's not answering. Barry! Uh... Don't ask. Barry. You have an amazing ability to help people. She makes things explode. After the lightning bolt, what if you hadn't found me? It could have been me. Hunted. On the run. Cut off from everyone I know and care about. You guys saved me? And I want to save her just as bad as you do, Barry. We all do. You gonna be okay? You can walk on water. Puts you in pretty interesting company. I distilled a highly fermented, potent suspension. It's basically 500 proof. I figured if anybody could use a drink tonight, it was you. So, here's to bet. Bet. too quick are you buzzed um yeah <laughs> yeah i'm buzzed for sure whoa oh that is good stuff <laughs> and it's gone right right work in progress Take a beating. Check the math. Your dispersal models don't correlate. Uh, they do if you factor in the seasonal fluctuations and reproduction cycles. What exactly are we debating? The average number of bugs Barry swallows in a day of running. I look forward to seeing you accept your Nobel. Barry? Barry, are you okay? <gasps> 13 fractures. That's a new record, and that's just in your hand. You also have a concussion, three cracked ribs, and a bruised spleen. Even with your powers, you'll need a few hours to heal. I have ice and bandages standing by. I'm pretty sure I just dislocated my shoulder. Okay, not gonna lie. This is gonna be quick, but extremely painful. <laughs> oh, speaking of pain. Eddie, hey. Alan, we found the stolen Humvee in the alley at Fremont and Lawrence. Need you down here to do your thing. Great. I'll see you in a sec. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's do this. So, Barry. When you said you were off duty last night, you weren't visiting Iris again, you know, in disguise? Because that would be reckless and a little creepy. No. Good. <laughs> you first class <-class> freak. <laughs> There's nowhere left to run. Barry? Barry, where are you? Caitlin, over here. Barry? Please say something. Say something so we know you're okay. Oh. Well, get him out of there. Uh, what 
you'd have to hit him at approximately Mach 1.1. You want Barry to hit something at 800 miles an hour? 837, actually. That's faster than the speed of sound. I know. He would create a sonic boom, which, as I've said before, would be awesome. I've never gone that fast. Yet. I can't believe we're actually entertaining this idea. I mean, he'd need a straight shot from miles away. Yeah, 5.3 miles, theoretically. Do it right. You'll take him down. Do it wrong? You'll shatter every bone in your body. He's miles away. 5.3 miles away. Barry, wait! No way, he's gonna do it! Almost as good as proving me wrong about the supersonic punch. Actually, that part hurt like a lot. Run, Barry. I can't. My speed is gone. He runs slow even for a normal person. You can't just lose your powers, okay? Your DNA was transformed by the particle accelerator blast. There's no way to untransform DNA. Yeah. Tell that to the Uber driver who charged me 65 bucks to take me here. I had to tell her I was coming from a cosplay party. Your cells are still primed. They just need a jump start. Okay, how do we do that? How do we jump start me? We need to replicate the initial jolt to your system. But that would mean a peak current of at least 20,000 kiloamps. Are you insane? That's more electricity than they give to people in the electric chair. We need something that can transmit the load from the generator to Barry's body without shorting out. The treadmill. My baby could take the charge. What if Barry can't? <laughs> Not sure how long that'll hold. Done being noble, Mr. Allen. Caitlin, get him to the treadmill. Cisco, bring the generator online. Make sure Barry gets the charge. I'm not yelling fast anymore. That's unfortunate. Turn on the treadmill. You're still hurt. But we don't have time. Caitlin! I can't. We don't have a choice. If I turn this on, it could kill you. If you don't, we could all die. I already lost someone I cared about in this building. I can't do it again. Listen, someone once told me that I was struck by that lightning for a reason, that it chose me. I'm not sure I believe it. Right now, it doesn't matter what I believe. What do you believe? That's not good. I need to take your blood and figure out what happened. I can't believe he's dead. Dr. Wells? No, no. Tony Woodward. Oh, my God. Barry, look. Your cells are rapidly regenerating. Look, you asked if I believed you were struck by lightning for a reason, if you were chosen. I believe you should, too. Oh, 
not sure what happened. Why didn't you just siphon all my powers like before? Because you finally stopped thinking about your powers and just connected to them. Look, this is a sample of your blood from just after you were struck by lightning. Now, your cells are generating more energy than ever before. It was more energy than the meta could safely handle. It's almost like he choked on you. When I turned those people against each other, it made you angry. <laughs> Have some real anger. No signs of macular damage. Your retina and cornea seem unaffected. I told you, I'm fine. You said... Bivolo whammied you. No desire to go MMA on any of us? No. Nope. Yeah, I mean, something weird happened with his eyes for a sec. Weird thing? Yeah, everything went red. You were right. He's been whammied. He was acting angry. It was scary. And his eyes, they glowed. It's possible that his body is fighting off the effect, so it's hitting him slower. I just hope they can turn Barry back before he kills Oliver. Me? I'll be more worried about what Oliver might have to do to Barry. Barry has superpowers. Oliver has a bow and arrow. There's a lot of sweating. Oliver and I have some unfinished business to take care of first. You guys aren't gonna punch each other, are you? <laughs> Barry! That was too close. He told me to make it hard. Pretty sure he didn't tell you to make him dead. Why isn't he running away? Barry, run away. You doing okay? Yeah, yeah, no, I just... It's over! You lose. You activated the frequency when you disarmed me. In chess, we call that a discovered attack. Barry's vitals are bottoming out. We need to do something. OK. How do you feel? Fine. I mean, there is a little ringing in my ears, but other than that, I'm good, so. You're speaking very loudly. Sorry. It's OK. It'll pass. Tonight was the fastest you've ever run. Not even Barry's cells move this fast. I've never seen anything like it. This is a bullet wound. You're lucky it just barely broke the skin. Guess I'm a lot faster than a speeding bullet. Aren't you worried about moving too fast? No, what do you mean? It's a second date. No, 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 no. I meant going too fast, hurrying. Look, I mean, you're fast, but there's fast, and then there's fast. Am I being subtle enough? You're really not. This goes right. With your increased blood flow and increased heart rate, theoretically, your speed could cause you to... You're gonna need to think about a lot of dead puppies. Like, we're talking a whole kennel. to hurry. Barry's wounds are starting to heal with the fragments still under his skin. It's just like that time I stepped on a sea urchin. Only much worse. Oh, just don't pee on me. Uh, you know that's a myth, right? <laughs> Let's just finish this. I gotta get to Stein's house. Eileen's gonna be after him, too. Stein's fine. How do you know? It's right there. worse than it is. <laughs> you okay? You seem a little off. There is a tsunami heading for the city. How do I stop it? Theoretically, if you can create a vortex barrier along the coastline, a wall of wind, that would be able to sap the tidal wave of its energy before it hits the city. By running back and forth. How fast? I don't know if you can run that fast. I'm 
so sorry, pal. It's not like me to hit anyone. I don't know what came over me. Uh, thanks, Eddie. It's, it's okay. You poor thing. I had no idea. Is that right? Um, but what exactly did you have no idea about? I was just explaining to Iris and Eddie about your lightning psychosis. My what now? Your lightning psychosis. How your recent odd behavior is a side effect of being struck by lightning. <sighs> Mood swings, a sudden outburst of affection, and other lapses in judgment. He has had all of those things. He told me that he had ESP. Yeah, it's a very uncommon neurological phenomenon. We're really only just now starting to research it in Corona medicine. That's why Barry's been spending so much time at Star Labs. I just, I wish you had told me. It hardly feels real sometimes. We're just glad you're getting help. Yeah. So, we're good? Yeah, we're good. Coffee? Yeah. <laughs> You are welcome. Perry, we'll catch him. We always do. I should have been there. We're gonna find your dad, okay? Seemed like you could use a hug, too. Going into cardiac arrest. Barry, stay with me. Cisco! Barry doesn't have a pulse. Step away from him. What? Why? We need to jumpstart his heart. There's a defibrillator in the suit. Charge it to 360 joules. Charging in three, two, one. Again, 400 joules. Charging in three, two, one. Good news, the apitoxin is out of your body. Your levels are back to normal. Terrific. Ray, Felicity. We're gonna be late for dinner. Are you sure that's wise, Barry? You just died. The defibrillator in your suit is broken. You cannot risk going near Mercury Labs. If you're touched while you're the Flash and he transforms into you, we run the risk of him exposing that Barry Allen is the man behind the mask. Because at this point, we don't know if this shapeshifter is capable of absorbing more than just your physical characteristics. Like he might be able to copy my speed. That would be bad. Got it. Hands off the metahuman. <laughs> I have no idea who she is. figured out a way to stop our shapeshifter from morphing into other people. Oh, really? What if I create a serum that will terminate the polymerization reaction, essentially forcing the bonds to revert to their original form, stopping him from being able to control his power? You can do that? Yeah, I think so. Okay. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Look, about last night, I can't imagine how hard this must be for you. I mean, I know how desperate you are to solve your mom's murder. Let's just bury the hatchet, and we'll go back to Star Labs, figure out how to catch this every man. Every man? Bad nickname? No. No, I kind of like it. OK, good. Me too. Good to go. Just need to give it a little spin. Oh. Right. Yes. Spin. So this, uh, serum that you're making, is it a temporary fix, or will it take away his power permanently? Not permanently. Just long enough so we can stop him. 
And how long is it going to take? Not long. We just need... What are you doing? Something I think I should have done a long time ago. Barry, I... Oh, my God. What's wrong with you? Huh? N nothing. I didn't do anything. He was indeed left-handed, as is this man. Our Barry is right-handed. Oh, I knew it. Never mind. Oh, Barry. you slime me? Because you were unconscious. <gasps> Smelling salts works just as well. Sorry, okay? I think so, yeah. With Caitlin Bates, he was here. Uh, yes, I know. Okay, let's go. His cells have the ability to transmogrify at quite the rate. Which is how he can become anyone. Which is how he can look like anyone, because he cannot appropriate your memory or your powers. Got it. Hands on the metahuman. Hands on the metahuman. And to help you do that, Dr. Snow has concocted a solution we believe will stop him. Yes, I've made a serum that will create a cortical reaction around his cells. You deprive those cells of their electrical charge, and shape-shifting days are over. Wow, that's great work. Isn't it? Thank you. Um, no need for a hug or anything like that. Okay. Oh, Barry, you got a ping from your cell phone. Looks like Hannibal Bates is at the airport. Payback hey, time. Not as fast. You're done imitating innocent people. dumb enough to fall for that. So this will allow Cisco to see into his dream. I got the idea from a journal article on lucid dream therapy. They think it can be used to help people suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> Bad day for this pal. Your eye movement is normal. No signs of neurological damage. When Rainbow Raider got in my head, all I felt was anger. But this was not that. This was overwhelming fear. Huh. Looks like when you went down, the thief got disoriented, too. Maybe we both got whammied. Then you know how it feels. few times I would not want to be Barry Allen. I wonder what he's going to say. 
We should absolutely not listen in. It's none of our business. But the Flash is our business. And Iris did just find out that Barry's the Flash. Told by the transmit property, Barry and Iris are our business. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. If we could get another shipment of the, uh, computers in here. Yeah, I don't think that had anything to do with this. Nope. Sing told Joe they think the man in the mask is gonna make a play for it. Okay, but we still don't know if he's responsible for those weird images you saw. What happens if you find them? What happens if Grodd takes over your mind the same way he did with Hiley? Can you guys build me something, some kind of tech, so he can't get into my head? We'll figure something out. Fast. This team's working. Grodd's on the move. I don't understand. What is the plan? He's maneuvering Grodd into a tunnel 5.3 miles from Barry. So Barry can do what? Same thing he did to Girder. Supersonic punch baby. Hit it! <laughs> Sonic Punch failed. Uh, here we go. It's okay, just go. That's, that's working. Yes! Barry! Oh no, the headset's offline. It sounded like it impacted with something. Barry, you have to get out of there now. You can't go out there by yourself. Yeah, I can. Save your mother's life. Uh, quite the paradox Harrison has presented you with, Mr. Allen. The chance to be with someone you love seems pretty cut and dry to me. So for this to actually work, how fast would Barry have to go? By my estimates, Mach 2 at a minimum. I've never gone that fast. Is Barry okay? Yeah. He just passed Mach, too. Inject a hydrogen particle now. What's that? What happened? Barry, he's gone. Look, the wormhole. It is stable. Start the clock. Shut down the wormhole, quickly! Cut the internal generators! Three, two, one. I'm afraid the accretion disk is already assembled. What? The diffused material that's in orbital motion around the singularity. What does that mean? We have to disrupt the motion. Basically, it's just like the tornado, only upside down, and bigger, and scarier. Barry, that event has an energy level of at least 6.7 tera electron volts. It cannot be stopped. I have to try. 